Welcome to our Master in Minutes video series on how to generate student login credentials. This video will go over how a teacher can access student login credentials. In SchoolNet, we refer to student login credentials as student usernames. For students to access the assigned assessment, teachers need to provide usernames and passwords to their students. The first step to a successful administration is assigning the assessment to classes that will be taking the assessment. This is usually done by a test coordinator or leadership at your school for all central assessments. Information on assigning assessments can be found in the Mastery in Minutes Assigning Assessments video. I will go live on a training site to demonstrate the steps to access student usernames. On the left-hand blue navigation bar, click the down arrow next to Assessments and click Find under the Assessment section. Do not select Find under the Items, Rubrics, and Passages section. You must select Find under Assessments. So for the purposes of distributing student usernames and passwords, this information can be retrieved from any assessment detail page on any assessment. So on this assessment central page, we can enter the assessment name, ID, search by subject or grade level to find a specific assessment. If you want to view all available assessments, you can just select go. For our example, we are going to search for English language literature and grade level seventh, and then I'm going to select go. And then on the results, I will select the name of the assessment, and I'm going to select my NYCBT grade seven ELA online. Once the assessment is selected, you will see on the assessment detail page that it has been redesigned, and the, inf the way to access the view usernames will be from what we call the assessment banner. So you will click on the little menu on the right side, drop down, and you will click view username. On the view usernames page, you will be able to view the student usernames and passwords for all the sections that you teach. And you also have the option to filter it by a particular section or official class. By selecting that, you can then scroll to the bottom and select print usernames. If you do not have a printer available, you can select another option once the print dialog box appears. And you have the ability to print it as a file to your computer, for example, Microsoft OneNote or Adobe PDF. Now your print options will vary based on your computer and browser. Please note that usernames and passwords should be distributed to students individually and securely. This is how a teacher will access student usernames and passwords. If you select the drop-down and access view usernames and no sections are visible on this page, you may have additional permissions. So please refer to the online administration guidance document for step-by-step -step instructions on how to retrieve usernames and passwords for leadership. And thank you for listening to our video on how to generate student login credentials in SchoolNet.